my name and i am lifestyle blogger and content creator so of course of, uh, what am I trying? <laughs> so a lot has been happening this week right we have the vmas we have the neo fashion week we have the met gala now mm, i have a note to say so um of course we missed the met gala last year because of um, covid19 we did have the met gala in 2020 um so we hope for the best this year right the theme was um american independence so let's see how it all went down so first of all I'm a start with the elephant in the room, right? What the fuck was Kim Kardashian wearing? No, I'm sorry. We get it. You're promoting an album. We get it. What is that? Girl, you know, I looked at this book. No, first look at this. You wore it at the album listening party. You wore it on Instagram. You wore it somewhere. And then on the biggest night of fashion, you also decide, no, you're gonna carry the same look. Girl, what the problem is it? Why am I saying? What? You know what? Mm -mm. I'm gonna move on. Um, my, I'm gonna move on to the good looks, right? First of all, Chloe and her sister. Is her sister Hailey? Yeah, the one that's a Lord, have mercy, walk it down, see like I do. That one. Um, I did, 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 did love her look. Her look was actually good. I'm actually looking at them right now here. It was actually simple. Now, first of all, you guys, I don't know how each any of these looks was connected to american independence because the theme was american independence and by just looking at the at the what by just looking at the clothes i could not tell the thing i'm gonna take you guys back to the med gala of 2018 that was it like you could actually just look at the faces and know this is the theme like right but then this med gala i could not tell i could i could Almost everyone was just in a plain blue suit and a white shirt. Like, anyway, I still speak about Chloe. Chloe has some very good music. I really love it. I love that she shows some skin. I love her hair. I love everything. I love her sister. And um, her piece was actually very easy. I love it. it was one of my best pieces. Um, one of my other good pieces was Nomani. I loved 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 is it gold is it mustard yellow i'm not very good with colors but i love the dress i loved it i love this whole i don't know what it's called i love fashion but i'm broken after studying it so yeah but i love i love the whole outfit you guys are gonna be seeing everything here and then um of course bella hadid is it bella or gigi it's gigi it's gigi yeah gigi showed up i didn't see bella there gigi showed up good for you i love that whole dress it was all simple snatched looking amazing you people tana taylor like this girl should just drop an ad routine did she drop that already and i didn't get it girl this girl looks snatched i loved everything about the dress it was showing skin it was amazing it was metal okay it's not metallic but it was giving that metallic look it was it was gorgeous you guys it was gorgeous actually um I'll read them later. Let me first react to everything. Let me first react to everything. Who is this? Oh my god, sweetie. Is it Sawiri? Sweetie? I'm not a fan. I don't know her, but she, she dressed good, honey. This Melanie now here. She looks good. She looks amazing. She looks amazing. You guys don't forget to subscribe, comment, um, um share. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sawiri. Okay, who is this? Who is this? Finally, someone that is not in a tuxedo with a white shirt. I don't know who this is, but it's a chai. Um, this is a very good look. I love the texture. Um, at the beginning of this year, I didn't meet with a certain stylist. He's called um, Mo QG. Is that his name or that's his store? No, that's his store's name. So I met, went to his store, had a sit down. I was speaking about how actually men are very boring on red carpets. Like they'll just literally just put on a suit or a turtleneck and with the red carpet where women are actually putting it up with jewels and makeup the accessories and everything so i actually did combine an article about how you can um up your suit game like when you're going out for a birthday for a wedding for a graduation like anything that actually needs a suit how you can actually level it up and not look like any other person in the room so um this is actually one of the things i spoke about a textured suit a textured suit is actually so nice and i actually love that you got it in a different color from the pants, it made everything pop out. I love the jewelry. I love the phone. Yes, I said phone. I mean, the watch. I love the watch. I actually love his cornrows too. Looking good. Looking great. Oh my god, Kim and Kanye again. No, thank you. Aha! Uh -huh. Maluma. 
when I saw Maloma's book, I just knew it was Versace because of like the whole jewel thing. Like it just looks so well put together. I think Donatella dressed Donatella. Sorry, Donatella dressed the 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 best people at this met. Donatella dressed the favorite. Donatella dressed the best people at this met because when I saw Lil Nas, is uh, Lil Nas and um, Maloma and some other girl, I'm forgetting her name. They were they were looking good. So yeah. Maluma's was was a hit. Donatella herself wore an amazing, amazing gown. I just loved the whole corset kind of thing. It was amazing. It was giving. It was giving. Then of course, wait, hold on. Yeah, this this my this my last look. This my last look. Of course, um, Lil Nas X. I don't know how to say this. He showed up in Versace, like the night in shining Versace. I actually love the look to be honest. I love the look. When I read um uh the Met Gala was during the night where I'm from. I'm, I'm in Uganda, Africa, like a different time zone and stuff, so the Met Gala was during the night. So I woke up and saw the pictures of the Met Gala. So when I woke up and was seeing pictures, of course I knew Lil Nas was gonna be invited. So I did go look at his look from the Versace um Instagram and I read through the caption and uh, after reading through the caption it gave me more meaning of the whole look right like the first embodiment then like the next thing he had on then like the next thing so I'm gonna be honest he was like my favorite look that day what the fuck was Rihanna wearing uh -uh, honey what the fuck was that shit no like seriously did you guys remember Robin Fenty like the pop thing that thing was epic you remember like the yellow is it yellow was it mustard yellow that whole gown thing she had she was everything then she decided to come out in a trash can girl what the fuck is this shit mm -mm, no <laughs> i'm not going to even give no thank you I i'm not gonna talk about you i'm not gonna talk about you i think that's it that's it those were my favorites and my worst and the people actually expected to do good thank you guys for watching subscribe my youtube channel i love you guys so much follow your dreams be kind. Love you. What Nick Miller is saying about the vaccine? Like, girl, you have a platform and you out here being controversial. Bye.